Hey, this is Adrian. So if there was only one meditation that you did, I would recommend doing this one. Meditation a lot of times, you know, is seen as more like a technique to create calmness or peace or um, things along that level. But this is a little bit more than a meditation. This is actually you connecting with your, what I would call your cosmic Christ presence. You could also say it's your divine presence, your I am presence. I just call it cosmic Christ presence. So I like the frequency of that, but it's called the one heart breath. And it's where you're doing this with your cosmic Christ presence. And the reason it's a little bit different than maybe other types of meditations is because you're actually interacting with that living presence, that quantum field of your own um, higher light and it activates it. It puts it in a quantum field, it activates it and your, your body, your mind, your soul actually feels the connection and the energy in a very different way because if there was just one thing you ever did and you were connecting to your own higher presence, it you wouldn't have to do anything else. There's really no reason to ask a question or to try to figure out your life. Your Cosmic Christ presence, it just it already knows how to govern your your life and the problem is that a lot of times in our spirituality we get into maybe a technique or a belief system or an affirmation or something like that and we sort of plateau out we'll plateau at a particular spiritual level um, and when you're working with your cosmic Christ presence you never plateau out because it's this eternal all evolving all moving energy and so you never get stuck in a plateau like you would maybe a type of meditation or a type of spiritual practice. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. And as we start to actually make a connection to your cosmic Christ presence and you really start surrendering into it and making that connection, what happens is I have found personally that I'm learning how to trust myself in ways that I had not even known I didn't trust really, you know what I mean? But as children, a lot of times what happens is that when we have certain chaos or things going on that's overwhelming to us, particularly for those who are uh, have special traits, who have higher intuition, higher empathy, um, higher awareness coming into this world already kind of consciously awoken because that is your your path this lifetime, what happens is that with that higher in tuned energy, that w chaos and fear and energy around us ends up becoming, um, it's more impactful, I'd say. The less conscious you are, maybe the less impactful certain things are, certain foods, certain chaos, etc. But the more sensitive you are, the more sensitive you are to the chaos and the fear, the emotions, the subtleties, and the thought forms, right? So in this way, it will unfortunately cause like a break in trusting ourselves. And the interesting thing is, is that usually what happens is that people who have higher intuition and empathy will actually do a much better job taking care of others and being super responsible in their world and the world around them and everybody else's life. But because the, the parents or the, the guardians or the, the energy, the people who maybe would normally be responsible if you can't trust them, then it almost creates like a lack of trust in self. It's like a reflection thing that happens. So when you reconnect to your cosmic Christ presence, you're actually reestablishing trust. It will help you to naturally start to see that you have um, um, where your boundaries are. Because a lot of times when you don't have an instinctual trust in yourself, because you're always over caring or over empathizing or over governing other people's energy, and you lose that connection to self, then it's hard to sometimes even know where the boundaries are to reset them. Uh, there's just so much. I have been doing this since the Mary Magdalene quest in October, every single day. And it is absolutely amazing how it's reframing my life. Like I've never done anything that's getting this result with this much magnitude, um, this easily, this gracefully. And all it requires is doing it that's all it is because a lot of people are like well when is my life going to get better i've been on this path and doing things for quite some time now and that's true uh so 
really the minute you go into this one heart breath with your cosmic Christ presence, you instantly feel better. So it's like an instant Raymond noodle. It's like an instant fix automatically, right? And then from there, it's not only an instant connection that just you start to feel better, but because it starts to create a field of energy around you, it literally starts to requalify your environment. And then on top of that, it will start to put you on that golden path of your own life and start to reframe. So it helps to clean up the past. It helps to recreate the future and it helps to make you feel better in the present moment. So it's just like an all encompassing thing and it's so simple to do. So let's do it. It's just so simple, right? So all you do is you just take a deep breath and you just do your rhythmic breathing. I'm breathing in and I'm breathing out. And you're just synchronizing with yourself for a moment. And you want to call forth to your cosmic Christ presence. You may call it your divine presence, your um, I am presence, your true self, whatever it is. But you want to bring it in and literally to stand in front of you, right? So you're, call you're descending. You're bringing this energy down to where you're at in your body. You're not going up and out. You're actually calling it to come down in front of you. And you come into a tender embrace. You, you, you're hugging it. And you want to hug from like your left shoulder where your heart mostly rests. Left shoulder to left shoulder. Um, because that really puts you from your heart over its heart. And that's true if you're hugging anybody else or your pets or whatever as well. Um, but a left heart hug. So you're going into this left heart hug. And I just want you to literally feel the energy of just being, you know... I'm calling forth to my cosmic Christ presence into a one heart breath and just feel yourself being held in its presence. And it's like an energy of I'm sending forth my infinite love, adoration, and gratitude to my cosmic Christ presence. Because the minute you send love to something, it reflects back, right? So I'm sending forth infinite love, adoration, and gratitude to my cosmic Christ presence. And you're allowing that energy to come back and you're just breathing with it. I'm breathing in and I'm breathing out. And you're kind of focusing on your breath. But just notice how it even feels to be held in this loving embrace. Because this part of you is it's unconditional. It knows you. It's empowering. Um, it's something that you can feel safe with. Like that's really one of the feelings you're looking for in this tender embrace. Is this left heart hug is a sense of feeling um, more peaceful, uh, protected, safe. Um, in this overlighting presence and you say to it and I always say it out loud because I think there's a certain power in the word um, beloved cosmic Christ presence I choose you above all else so beloved cosmic Christ presence I choose you above all else because that's just honestly right action that's just really the way it should be honestly and what we do is we tend to make everything else in this external world, which has so many different illusions to it and conditions to it, and we forget. So the minute you come back into, I choose you above all else, you will literally a lot of times feel a rush of energy that it's choosing you too. And that's just, the inner child usually tends to really love that. It loves being chosen unconditionally in its own light, in its own presence. And so... I choose you unconditionally. I choose you above all else. And that's really you calling your power back. That's you coming back into alignment with your own life and your own energy. And then from there, I say to it, um, please come forth on my behalf to govern um, all my activities in perfect time in a perfect way, um, you know, throughout my day, throughout my life. So please come forth on my behalf to govern all my activities um, in the highest alignment for my soul's well-being, my soul's journey. So in that energy, I'm literally requesting it to come forth and to take command of my energy. Um, and I have noticed it qualify things that I wouldn't have even thought to qualify. And it does it very gracefully, very easily. And I'm noticing not only a deeper inner listening to myself, my feelings, um, what's going on around me, but I've even started to notice now the more I come into alignment with this better boundaries, better energy, um, greater happiness. I'm making better choices of things that I just like in my life, um, little things, big things, and um, it just 
resets stuff. It's it's really cool how it does it. But I've even noticed my vision shifting to where I'm starting to notice like the pranic life force energy around people. And so what's happening is it's raising my vibration and it's starting to activate higher gifts and higher soul attributes and higher special traits that maybe have not been fully active yet because I've been so consumed with the drama of life like most of us and so consumed with all the distractions of life. But the more I come back, the safer I feel. The safer I feel, the more I open. The more I open, the more of my own higher energy is coming forth. And there's things that like I thought, oh man, I'd love to be a millionaire because that's what a lot of us say, right? Oh, I'd love my practice to grow to this, that, or the other number of people, right? And now I actually just don't care because I realize, you know, the truth is I actually don't care about being a millionaire. A lot of times people want a certain financial resource or they want a certain connection to people or success or fame or fortune, whatever it is, because they're, um, they, some part of them that feels insecure and not taken care of in the world feels like it would solve the problems of the inner child. It would solve the problems of the parents and what the parents thought would be important or what the world or the culture around us thinks, right? But the more I'm just sitting in this loving presence, my life is becoming happier, freer, easier. And the things that I thought would be important that were kind of driving me every day, I actually don't care about. It's actually not important to me at all. I kind of like a simple life. And what I have is good to go, you know? So it restructures our whole belief system and it fine tunes the truth of who we are. And I feel way more creative versus stressed. And I feel way more loving than fearful. And I feel way more trusting than, you know, skeptical or hopeless about life. So it's changing all these frequencies and all I do is that one heart breath, I come into the heart, I call on my cosmic Christ presence, I go into this left heart hug. I'm focusing on my breathing and I'm allowing my breathing to synchronize, to come into a sense of harmonic resonance within myself and with my own cosmic Christ presence. And before long, I notice three to five, maybe 10 breaths, all of a sudden I take a deep breath and I relax and all of a sudden I just feel the synchronization happening where I'm breathing with my cosmic Christ presence and I literally feel it breathing me. And then I drop a little deeper into my heart and I start listening to my heartbeat, which a lot of times we don't do. And I just start listening to my heart and the pulse and the feeling and the sensitivity of it. Again, while I'm in this loving embrace and all of a sudden I can feel my heart click in and all of a sudden I'm breathing and my heart is um, beating and I feel like my cosmic Christ presence is beating my heart and breathing me. And I feel as this overlighting presence is actually taking care of me. And so it allows me to relax and just be more creative, more playful, more in alignment to just being in flow, the universal flow versus trying to control things. Because a lot of times we just want to try to control things because we feel out of control. And so it just relaxes a lot. And then in that universal flow, a synchronicity of miracles and things start to align that's even better than I even could have imagined possible that then starts to show up. So one thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to see if I can do it on camera, is my new bunnies. This is, uh, let me see if I can get it on camera. Um, oh, I can't tell if it's catching it or not. I think it is. Okay, well, that is Toffee. So that's one little bunny. It's a little lop-eared bunny. And then Cookie is in here. Come here, Cookie. Where are you? Well, anyway, I'll have to do a bunny video another time. But the Cosmic Christ Presence. So it's like the little things that bring you happiness, you know? And so whether it's how you're spending your money, how you're eating, how you're sleeping, the people that you're in interacting with, it just starts to realign everything into this true sense of self, this authentic resonance with who you really are. Oh, wait, the other bunny came out. Hang on a second. Okay. Hey there, little bunny. bunny. Hey. And that's Cookie. Okay. Hopefully you got the view of the bunnies and that just makes me happy and I love it. And you know, it just sort of really aligned. And, um, so, but that's part of, it's the simple things in life that you really begin to relate to. Okay. That's all. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.